administration of compliance center for subgroup changes. So I have a group commit for five one, uh, where I have uh, two top level projects, uh, lab code and secu commit security policy project, and also security policy project. And I have a subgroup named SG, where I have DDD and SG security policy project. So. Uh, on top level compliance center, we have four tabs. We will go on them by, one by one. So for standard ad adherence, I see that all projects, I can group it for easier monitoring. I can see that there are three projects which are shown for violating uh, standard adherence, which are top level projects, as you see. Uh, if we open Compliance Center for Standards Adherence on SG and group it by projects, you see that violations are reported for uh, just sub-projects. There were no changes made here, but since it was mentioned in the issue uh, of uh, subgroups, I'm ch checking that. For Violations tab, we have five reports here mentioning projects DDD and as, as G security project. And if we go to top level group, we having also somewhere here, lab code. So it's displaying uh, uh, violations from all projects. But the, the changes were actually made were in frameworks tab. So let's take a look at compliance center on top level. We have new framework button available. Uh, we have edit framework button available. And if I sort, so show, for example, look at the project super test edit two, uh, we will see that it is associated with project lab code. If I go here and go with super test, edit two, I will see that this project is not associated with lab code because lab code belongs to the top level one. So it, it properly filters this. If I pick the default group, so I see here the security policy project. And here I see it because it works because top level group shows the projects from the subgroups, but not vice versa. Okay, and on the projects tab, uh, for top level group, we have this bulk action area. We have checkboxes. We have ability to add framework. We have an ability to remove framework. We have ability to edit the framework. Uh, but if we go to the projects uh, here, we see no checkboxes no bulk actions, no ability to edit framework or to remove the framework. But on the frameworks tab, we will see that the new framework button is uh, disabled with relevant tooltip and also the edit framework button is disabled with relevant tooltip, uh, which is not the case for top level group where on the frameworks tab we see it, it is available and it is available here.